Hey, what up, y'all? It's uh, Ezra here, and we're about to go ahead and get into our uh, week seven, day two. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, um, this is our shoulders, bicep, and triceps. Of course, we're going to be adding the traps in there, too. And um, we started off with a, a machine overhead press, a machine overhead press. Nothing but a, it's a press. But on a machine. I started off with 90 pounds and did 10 reps. So it's sort of like a warm up. Um, and uh, just to give you guys some background um, for my warm up for this exercise, I did calves and abs. You know how I do my calves and abs afterwards? Well, I decided to do calves and abs for my warm up which I did um, very low weight, high repetition type dynamic stretching type exercises where you're actually doing the actual movement. So um, there's no tears or rips or any strains like that. And uh, so my abdominals and calisthenic type exercise um, and high repetition, low weight for my calves where I did for my warm up. And um, this is a way to efficiently use my time, so that way I'm not spending that much time at the end of the workout to do my abs and my calves. So um, let's get back to our machine over here press. Uh, this is for my shoulders. Started off with uh, 90 pounds and did 10 reps, 110 pounds, 20 reps, then 130 pounds, 10 reps, and then I did 150 pounds and it was squeeze out 5 reps. Um, then I'm working at this as a circuit. So I'm going to sh shoulder to bicep to tricep, and then shoulder to bicep to tricep. Then, so I jumped to my biceps now and did machine curls, single arm machine curls at 60 pounds. I did 10 for each arm. And then I did a high repetition, low weight, 45 pounds, 20 reps. Then I did uh, my third set, went back to 60 pounds, did 10. And then 45, I was able to hit uh, 12 repetitions at the 45 for each arm before I hit muscle fatigue or muscle failure I should say and um, then I went to my triceps um, and I did um, there's an overhead tricep machine where you're basically just going overhead and raising up the triceps just like that um, the uh, overhead tricep machine I started off with 70 pounds and did 20 um, then I went up to uh, um, uh, 90 pounds, I did 20, then 110 pounds, did 20, and then 130 pounds, and I was able to get out like, maybe 12. And uh, then I jumped right back to my shoulders, I did the lat raise machine, okay? Lat raise machine is, um, is where you're going like this, you're holding the handle, and you're going like this on a machine, okay? And um, the lat raise machine, I did 10 at 95 pounds and 10. Then 110 pounds, 10 to 125 pounds, and then 10 to 140. Jump right to my biceps. Did the standing dumbbell curls. Okay, and started off with 50 pounds. Did 10 for each arm. Okay, and making sure I'm curling up at the top, so I'm getting that full motion inside that uh, bicep head, and um, which is re, uh, which is really um, increasing the gap in between you know the elbow and your bicep which really looks good. So uh, then I did 20 with the 30 pounds is my definition set. Now my third set went back up to 50, did 10 for each arm, and then back down to 30, 20. And um, you can go ahead and mix those up with hammers too. You know, when you get to your first 10 and then knock out the 20 with your, uh, with your, your you know, your other regular curls. So uh, just mix it up a little. Um, then I went to my triceps. I did... Um, Dips, okay, weighted dips um, with the um, with the belt. You can either do them with the belt or without the belt. Um, regardless, what I want you to do is for each set, I want you to knock out 20, okay. Rest, second set, 20. Rest, third set, 20. Rest, fourth set, 20. And those dips. And don't come too far down on the dips because then you're working your chest. Get like that 90 degrees or just where you can feel the the, the, um, the pressure or the contraction in your uh, in your triceps 
um, come down that far on your dips. Um, that way you're working your you're working your triceps versus you um, getting down there into your chest. All right. So then um, went right back up to my shoulders and did a front raise pulley um, with the straight bar. So you're standing just like this and you just lifting it up like this. Except you have the straight bar. Um, you have a straight bar and it's on a pulley. So you're just bringing it up like this, okay? And um, then uh, I did, I was able to do 100 pounds, three repetitions. Then I did 50 pounds, 10 repetitions. And went down to 80 pounds, did four repetitions. And on my um, mass builders, where I got the heavy weight, I'm doing eccentric too. So coming down like this slowly, holding the weight. So you don't know that gravity is pulling the weight back down. You're controlling it. That eccentric is where you get more of your growth versus the concentric. Okay. Then um, I did seven at 50 pounds, and um, then I went back to my biceps. I did a standing straight bar suicides. Now suicides is where you're coming halfway up seven times, halfway down seven times, and then all the way up seven times. Okay. So that's what a suicide is. And for 20, so it's really 21 repetitions. So with 80 pounds, I did one suicide, seven all halfway up, seven halfway down, seven all the way up, okay? Then my second set, I did 70 pounds, then my third set, 60 pounds, and my fourth set, 50 pounds. Then went straight to my triceps again and did the barbell, barbell overhead extensions, which is nothing but the same barbell that you use, squats, lunges, all that, but get that up, up here, and then... Uh, just put no weight on it at all, and then just, you know, do your tricep extensions, just like that, okay. Then, uh, that was so that the first set was 45 pounds, and I added 5 on each side, which is 10 pounds, so 55 pounds for the second set, 65 pounds for my third set, and then 75 pounds for my fourth set. All right, so, um, feeling good. I mean, this circuit is allowing a pump in each muscle, and before the pump goes down, you're hitting that muscle again. And it's shocking the body because you're not just concentrating on one muscle group. Where you could just do it like that, where you're working all that one muscle three times in a row. Then you're not putting as much energy within that muscle. And you're not getting as much exertion. You're not getting as much um, growth when you're not able to to expend as more, more energy within that muscle. So that's what you want to do. Um, so you can mix it up a little bit, but this is effective. And... Um, is gonna you're gonna reap some major benefits from doing it this way. And uh, then I went to my uh, traps. Of course, you know I'm doing my uh, uh, um, shoulder shrugs. Okay, the shrugs. All right. Now with the the shrugs, um, I I'm doing. I was at 540 pounds. Okay, so that's like five 45 pound plates on each side, and then I did 10 of those. Then I did a drop set where I take two off, which is 180 pounds off. Okay, so I'm at 360. Then I do a quick twitch, just like <laughs> real quick, you know. And um, I do that for 20 repetitions. Then I drop it from 540 to 460, uh, 450, and I do 20, I mean 10 repetitions. Then I do another two off, which will take me down to 270. And I did have my tuning reps. And uh, those are my four sets for my shrugs. So we hit all heads of the deltoids. Um, we hit the um, we hit the shrugs with the traps. And we got the biceps, all the heads, long head, short head. And we got the, the, the long head and short head on the triceps as well. So this is a really full workout. And then um, our warm-ups was our abs and our, and our, um, and our, uh, our caps. So, you know, this... This is really about to hit it. So then, of course, you guys know I do cardio afterwards to bring down my body fat and to also shock my heart to give it a different, um, a different type of uh, uh, workout. You know, my heart is working real hard when I'm doing the anaerobic type lifting with the weights. But now, when I do aerobic type uh, um, cardio, now my work, my heart is working in a completely different way. So that shock. And the, the, that's shocking the body again, which is causing growth. And so you're not only growing um, with your heart and your cardio, but you're also growing, you know, physically with your muscles as well. 
and this is allowing the blood to flow much faster so that the healing process can uh, be expedited much quicker. So uh, that's also one of those effects of that. So um, go ahead and get maybe like a mile in, for about 10 minutes uh, cardio afterwards. And you can also do cardio before. Uh, it's your preference. And when you learn your body, you're going to learn what's most effective for you. Okay. And uh, that concludes the workout. So I really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, this is Ezra here helping you overstand fitness. All right. So uh, I'm out. You guys take care. Thanks for watching.